Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat at welcome po sa ating daily prayer covenant. At bago po tayo magpatuloy sa ating devotion for this morning, tayo po muna ay manalang. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat po sa opportunity na ito na uh, mapag-usapan, mapagbulay-bulayan ang inyong salita. Panginoon, Panginoon patawarin niyo po kami kung may mga pagkakamali o pagkukulang kami nagawa sa week na ito, Panginoon. At Panginoon, uh, maraming maraming salamat sa mga biyayang binigyan niyo po sa amin. Um, at naniniwala po kami lahat ng aming nararanasan at meron ngayon ay nanggagaling sa iyo, Panginoon. Panginoon, um, lahat ng aming panalangin at panalangin ng aming mga puso ay tinataas namin sa pangalan mo. Amen at Amen. Ayan. Ang devotion po, po natin for today ay manggagaling sa Matthew chapter 6. Verses 25 to 34. At hayaan niyo pong basahin po ito sa NLT version. Sabi po dito, That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink, or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food or your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable, valuable to Him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment in your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. 
Yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown in the fire tomorrow, He will certainly care for you. So why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things, saying what we will eat, what we will drink, what we will wear. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your Heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and He will give everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Ay, napakagandang um, uh, mensahe po no? for, from Matthew chapter 6. Trusting God is not that simple, especially kung tayo ay kasalukuyang nag-worry sa mga importanteng bagay sa ating mga buhay. Tulad na lamang kung paano pagkakasyahin yung budget natin for the month, kung paano pagkakasyahin yung mga pangangailangan natin sa pagkain, sa mga bills, sa mga bayarin, sa mga utang. Diba? Hindi natin maiiwasan na mag sa mga bagay na tulad nito. But the Lord is reminding us not to overthink things because God is assuring na like the birds, they don't plant their food or store food, but God provides them food and drink. And we are much valuable than birds. We are valuable than the lilies or the wildflowers, sabi sa Matthew chapter 6. And sabi rin dito sa binasin natin kanina, And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, He will certainly care for you. So why do you have so little faith? These words teach us to depend, to depend on Him for our daily needs, whether it is for food, for drink, for finances, for our strength, for our healing, at kung ano pa yung mga pangangailangan natin. Depend on Him. Depend on God. Because God is a God who provides. So, have a big faith on our God. 31. So, don't worry about these things, saying what we will eat, what we will drink, what we will wear. These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. So, as believers, we should not think about these things because we already know that God is our God who provides. But these things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your Heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Alam na ng Lord kung ano yung kailangan natin. Alam na ng Lord kung ano yung pangangailangan mo. You just only need to be depending on Him. You only need to trust Him today tomorrow and forever. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and He will give you everything you need. Don't worry about today, tomorrow, and forever because God is already there. Tayo po ay manalangin. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, dahil binibigyan niyo po kami ng assurance na you will provide everything we need, Panginoon. We need for today, we need for tomorrow, and we need for everyone. You are, you are already there, Panginoon. Alam mo na yung mga pangangailangan namin sa aming mga buhay, Panginoon. And Lord, um, tuluan, turuan niyo po kami na magtiwala, Panginoon, na you are our provider, Panginoon. You are our Father, Panginoon, who provides. Panginoon, up. Uh, Sorry kung minsan ay hindi kami nagtitiwala sa sakayahan mo and nag-worry kami sa mga maliliit na bagay tulad nito, Panginoon. But today, help us, Panginoon, to trust you, to depend on you, na you already know what we need. Maraming maraming salamat po at gabayan niyo po kami sa araw-araw na aming pamumuhay. Maraming maraming salamat ang lahat ng aming panalangin, ngay- panalangin ay tinataas namin sa pangalaman. Thank you.
ったんでね。